Welcome to the Aliza Studio Quick Starts. This episode will cover the Aliza Processor Desktop Setup for Windows. The Aliza Studio package for Windows includes a single executable that will install the Processor Desktop application, which emulates the Aliza Processor 2 hardware, as well as the spatial audio processing functionalities, all within one device. The Aliza Processor Desktop must run in the background while using Aliza Studio. But once configured, you can minimize the app and forget about it. In the top of the application, you'll see three sections for metering the audio inputs, supporting up to 96 discrete outputs from your digital audio workstation of choice. The Windows version includes another set called Bridge Outputs, which are used for something to record your outputs back into a DAW. Lastly, there is the Outputs, which can support up to 16 that the paid version of Aliza Studio provides. Select your audio device type. Windows has several options, such as ASIO or Direct Sound. Choose your desired output device, whether that is a pair of headphones or an audio interface. You can then select your sample rate, ranging from 44.1 up to 96 kilohertz. You can also adjust your buffer size to control the amount of latency in the Aliza processing. Now, you may need to increase to a larger buffer size depending on your computer specifications to optimize your performance. On the output range of the application, we can configure this to have up to 16 channels, which can appear anywhere in the available outputs of your selected audio device. If you are running a multi-channel sound card, for example, this might be 1 through 16. But if you're using the audio bridge, this can be 17 through 32 or any range that you desire. Now, once set up, you can simply press apply and you can minimize the processor desktop application and move on to the Aliza controller where we can now connect to our processor. On the Aliza controller, you can navigate to the processors page where you will see a list of any active processors on the network, whether that's hardware or software. Now simply click and drag your processor to the main slot and connect. You can also see more information about a processor in the tabs, such as hardware I.O., device information, and version number for clarity. This has been the Aliza Studio Quick Start for Processor Desktop Setup on Windows.